Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the Income Journey. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I'm starting to build out systems and a team for my niche website. Over the last week or so, I have been both building out systems so that I can hire more writers and efficiently have posts go from idea, from my research to being published on my blog as smoothly as possible with you know high quality content and writers getting paid easily. So that's mainly what I'm gonna be discussing in this video and I'll also touch on my hiring process, but I might do a video completely on that if you guys want to see it. So the blog is currently getting about five and a half thousand page views per day. We're growing pretty rapidly. Yesterday, I actually had my first hundred dollar day on the blog, which was pretty cool. So we're starting to grow and we're starting to grow out this team and push more articles than ever. This month, we've done 90 something articles so far, and it's only the 18th as I'm recording this video. So we're definitely moving a lot faster now that we've got some sort of proof of concept. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through my process of coming up with ideas, how I kind of map it all out. We're gonna be using a software called ClickUp. I got this complete system from Anne from Yes, I think her blog is pronounced. I'm gonna leave a link to it down below in the description. So this is completely her system. I've completely ripped it off. She has an absolutely amazing blog post on her website where she talks about blogging. She does over $100,000 a month through her niche sites. So she has an amazing blog post that outlined this complete system. I've just went ahead and put it all together. And I'm gonna kind of show you it in this video to show you how it works in video format uh, and how I'm going ahead and you know, kind of sharing my guidelines for my website with my writers. So let's go ahead and jump in. If you do enjoy this type of content where we talk about stuff like this in a little more detail and really getting down into the nitty gritty of the business, let me know down below. Make sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe if you're new here. So as I said, I completely got this system from this blog post right here on yes.com. How I use ClickUp to run my site. She goes through everything in a lot of detail. You can see here the exact kind of system that she has of posts in prep, the site, and then media and publication. I've got that over here on the left-hand side inside mine. So check out this post if you do want to set this up yourself. So essentially how this works is you need a place to kind of make sure that your articles are getting to writers as fast as possible. I have previously been working on Upwork, but I'm trying to bring all of my writers now into ClickUp to get them moving a little bit faster and making sure that they've always got some sort of article to be writing because sometimes, you know, it kind of takes a lot of time to message writers on different platforms. You're talking via email to some, Upwork to some it kind of causes you know, a slowness. So if we can put everything in this system where the writer can just wake up, look in here and see what article they want to write, write it and then post it back, I can pair them, we can move forward. And they're writing the articles directly on the site rather than sending it to me in a, you know, a Google Doc or a Word document. I absolutely hate that. It takes just as long to you know, sometimes upload and edit a post and add photos to it as it does for me to just write the damn thing, right? So I want them to be uploading it so I can scan through it, make sure there's no major mistakes, fix anything like that, and just click that publish button. So over here, post section is the main section. This is everything to do with my site right here. This is like a template one I've done. This is not the actual one that I use for my site, but this is pretty much everything you need for your site. So we've got posts here. The first thing that we're doing is obviously doing keyword research and finding keywords and articles that we want to write. So I would do that. I've created a couple of videos on keyword research, but you can use your keyword research methods. And I put all of the article ideas in here and then you tag them with these, you know, kind of different post types, right? So here we've got a test article and a response post. Here we've got a how-to tutorial style article. Here we've got a listicle. And each of these tags and each of these type of articles also has a guide that the writer can look at. So that's where we come down to our training SOPs folder. Uh, and I've actually created a guide for each of these type of articles. Now, I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail in these articles. You can see what you can see on the screen right here, but if I go any further down, you're gonna see stuff about my site. So I've kind of edited this a little bit. This is not exactly what it says in ours, but you can get the idea of it. So I put a complete guide together that you know, kind of writers should follow for every single article. And this is just our general, you know, writing guidelines, guide to writing a post overview. So that's everything in there, you know, no fluff in the article, short and concise, add screenshots, 
all of that stuff's in there that we need in most of the articles. And then for every post type, we also have a guide. So if we go in here to how to article, you can see that we have a guide with the post outline, what should be in the body of the post, how should the intro look. Here, I've also got a video of me going through and showing them an example post, showing them what a good post looks like, uh, and then going ahead and just kind of explaining in a video format so they can quickly come back and look at it again if they want to, uh, and kind of just going through this guide in video format. So that gets sent to the writers with every article brief that they get so they can check out you know, exactly what they need to be following the structure of the article because we know the structure of our articles are working on our site. We wanna follow that as closely as possible and keep that consistency even when we're hiring outside writers. I've hired a lot of writers in the past before where you know I give them just a you know a headline essentially and told them to write and you're going to get back you know completely different things from you know com different writers whereas if you give them an outline or a template to follow you're going to get much more consistent work and that's exactly what I want for my site so I've put together these SOPs I've created them specific to the type of articles that we write it's obviously going to differ for your site and whatever you're writing but it's a good way to kind of teach writers quickly and have new writers come into your your systems and your business and hopefully be able to pick it up as soon as possible. So what happens here is we put posts in prep and I put posts in prep from my keyword research and then I'll go through them and I'll add kind of the article guidelines or the article brief in this section here. So I'll tell them how many words I want. I'll give them header twos, header threes that I want in the article, a rough kind of article structure. If it's a listicle, I'll tell them how many uh, you know, kind of bullet points or how many items I want in that listicle. I'm just giving them a rough idea of what to follow. Then the writer can go and write that article. So once I've created the brief, that means that this article is ready to go into the production system. And this is the system that writers will see. Writers don't see in ClickUp this in prep section right here. So what I'm gonna do is let's pretend that we've wrote a brief for this one right here, this response post. I would drag this over to templatesite.com. That would be the name of my site. It comes up here, you know, uh, what would you wanna add this into? It's gonna be added into writer needed. So that means that if an article is sitting in the writer needed section right here, it's available for writing. So uh, uh, writers that are in our system can now come in here and they wake up in the morning, they'll look, they wanna do an article, they'll look in here, they can pick any of them in this writer needed section click here and assign themselves to the article so we know that they're working on it and no one else will touch that article. They then drag it, put it into in writing, and now they can go ahead and write on that topic. Once they've finished the article, they can drop it in here, ready for payment. We can then check the post in WordPress, which is where they are writing. And then we can go ahead and send the payment if it's good. We can then send it to in editing, which is essentially at the minute, that's just me. I don't have an editor on my site, but in future I will. So I've added this section in as well. But we drag it in there, overlook the article, make sure everything's good, make any edits that we need to. And then that can be dragged into, if we drag this one up here, we can then drag that over to media and publication, which essentially means that it's being shipped off ready to go and publish on the site. So once it's in here, we add kind of, uh, you know, the main photo, we go, go ahead and add kind of the meta description and any tags need added, stuff like that. And once it's done, I just click this button, it's complete and that article is gone off my list. So that's essentially this whole system in a nutshell. We have our SOPs in there to essentially make it as easy as possible for writers to follow our writing guidelines and hopefully, you know, just make a decent writer out of as many of the writers as we get as possible. Again, I'm currently in a hiring spree trying to get people. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. I'm currently kind of testing a lot of people right now. I'm waiting on a lot of content coming back. So once that's back, if you guys want to see how that hiring process worked, again, I did follow an article over here on the Yes blog. There's no need to go ahead and reinvent the wheel. This person's doing really, really well with their business. It's a completely free. This isn't the course or anything here. And it's honestly just amazing content. It's been so useful for me in kind of putting these systems together and stuff like that. So I've been following this. I've followed her hiring process. So we'll see how that goes once we get all of our writers onboarded. Uh, and we're using this system in ClickUp. So it's really, really easy uh, to use. It's kind of self-intuitive, but there's tons of YouTube tutorials and stuff out there as well if you want to check them out. 
but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i'll give you guys a look kind of at how the site is currently doing here uh if we take a look we've currently 97 users in the last 30 minutes which isn't the greatest uh but yesterday we did 4474 users we did about 5500 page views i believe uh and again first 100 dollars down ad revenue everything's moving in the right direction we're growing we're scaling we're building out the team and things are going well so if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead give a big thumbs up hit subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you guys in the next one